Drill 12. Power drill, switching on and off. All strokes should focus on when to apply power. This not only increases distance per stroke, but often encourages correct movement patterns. On backstroke, one area that is often neglected is the forward throw of the hand from its vertical position to hand entry. This also assists the propulsive phase of the opposite hand and adds power if the timing drills and core have been developed along the drill progressions. Pectoral smash with auxiliary arm movement. The area that the swimmer should initially work through is from the edge of the sternum, which is just off the middle end of the trunk, through to the front of the shoulder. Secondly, to work over the front of the shoulder, beginning just at the top by the clavicle, down to the bottom of the shoulder in the groove between shoulder and the bicep. Thirdly, into the delto pectoral groove located between the shoulder and the chest muscle. The movement of the hot ball should be a small side to side, up and down or oscillating circular motion. The combination of these movements are best used to maximize tissue penetration and release. This form of localised pressure allows the hockey ball to knead into a specific area of the muscle. To increase the intensity, the arm can be brought behind the back. Also leaning into the wall will allow control over increasing and decreasing the intensity. A second technique that can be used is the auxiliary movement of the arm whilst the hockey ball is held still in one place. This form of technique allows the hockey ball to work into a more global area of the muscle. By the muscle moving under the hockey ball, rather than the hockey ball moving on top of the muscle, as in the first technique. This technique can be done, but is not limited to arm movement that follows a forward, backward and out to the side motion. The hand can also be rotated to allow a greater range of the muscle belly to be worked through. Revolved Downward Facing Dog Begin in the spinal neutral presser position, hands directly under the shoulders, weight pushing slightly back through the heels. Leading with the hips, take the hips as high as possible. The swimmer must attempt to push their chest towards their thighs, heels towards the floor. While maintaining high hips, reach with a hand to the outside of the opposite ankle. While using the ankle support, rotate the spine as far as possible to the same side. Do not twist the hips during this movement. The hips are maintained high and square to the floor. Side plank, band high fives and lateral pull down. Adopt a strong spinal neutral position. There should be a straight line between the feet, knees, hips, shoulders and head when in position. Elbow position should be directly under the shoulder. The supporting shoulder must be set back and down in a stable position. 
The moving arm for the high fives is set at a 1990 position. The moving arm is rotated as far as possible while keeping the elbow high. During the lateral pull down, the moving arm moves from above the head to the side of the trunk. The shoulder of the moving arm must be set back and down throughout the movement. Plank knees to hip and plank knees to elbow. In a four point presser position, adopt a strong neutral spine with shoulders and hips parallel to the ground. Hands directly under the shoulders, feet in line with the hips, weight pushing back slightly through the heels. The goal is to move the hips freely on the shoulders and head. While maintaining a strong pelvic neutral position, raise the knee and rotate from the hips until the knee passes close to or reaches the opposite side of the hip. This needs to be achieved with movement largely from the lower back, not the entire spine. The range of movement can be increased with a greater spinal involvement by bringing the knee towards the opposite elbow, 